Getting to Unreal rank is one of the most prestigious accomplishments in Fortnite. Of all 8.3 million players that have queued for a rank game, barely 1% of them have reached this mark. So today, I'm setting out on my Unreal journey, and this one was crazy between the pros that I played with, the insane clutches, and the absolute grind that is rank. You'll want to make sure to watch this one until the end. So everything started here, early on in Diamond 1, and these lobbies were... Well, just walk. Oh my god, 48 out the air. And let me come assist you real quick. No, don't. No. <laughs> These early diamond lobbies were incredibly easy, especially with the team I had assembled. Both Brando and SR3 are very good players who got to Unreal within the first week of this season. So at this point, we weren't even really trying, and we could still dominate lobbies, which made for some really fun games. Am I tripping? And there's nice. the win, bro. Wow. Diamond one, and I'm already in the diamond two, bro. A 29 UM win and a 32 UM win. And I'm almost half of Diamond 2. One of my teammates, Brando, had to leave after just two wins, which left me and SR3 to head into Diamond 2 ranked duos. And even though we were facing basically the same players from Diamond 1, something about the duos mode made people way more sweaty. And me and SR3 had to actually start trying. Bro, where's your car at? I don't even know. Despite not winning a game in Diamond 2, the ranks were still easy enough to climb and lift me into Diamond 3, which is the final rank before Elite, where the sweats come out and the real challenge begins. But at least we still have a couple fun games before we get to that point, like right here, closing in on the final 15 players of this lobby, SR3 goes down and it's all on me to clutch. Which was actually really easy, because the team just ran away and I rebooted in zone, which turned out to be a good decision, because this guy destroyed me, and I got to watch SR3 clutch up live. Wow, you might be the ghost. Oh my god. Dead. 130. Dead. Nice. 200. Oh no, I'm still 22% off. This is the game that could put me up to elite. Needing just 22% more, me and SR3 were just gaming away, clutching up some fights and having fun with it. Which is great, because we would not be smiling if we knew what awaited us in these upcoming ranks. Bro, are they here? Oh, that's uh, awkward. Oh, down out of the sky? Bro, I've sent two people out of the air. Oh my god, I hit him for 60 headshot and then he ran at me. The other kid's really weak on my card as well. Like, really weak. Run in there. Run in there in the corner. Oh. He picked up all the medallions now. Wait, let's go. Get out, get out, get out. Oh. Just spray him, just spray him. Spray him down with the gun. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're actually the goat. What? <laughs> No way. Oh, He's you're garbage, dude. Shut He's your fat mouth. You. Here oh we go. God. Here we go, Diamond 3. Elite. Oh my god, 34% of Elite. The long-awaited Elite Where's rank was mine, and I was inching closer to my ultimate goal of hitting Unreal. But pretty much instantly, Elite proved it was going to be more challenging when my team at SR3 died off spawn, and I had to clutch or else I risk losing a percentage of my rank, which I cannot do. Oh, give me quick, 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 run, run, run. And I successfully completed the 1v2, which happens not once, not twice, but three times in a single game, which I believe is the best match of Fortnite I played throughout this entire Unreal journey. I mean, in this game, I felt like Buddha. Hey, Brando. One sixteen on him. Hey, buddy. Sorry, but like I said, I don't. Oh my but, uh, god, what a shot. Can we jump on this guy together? Yeah, I don't know how that just doing that. Jeez, No aim assist on a box. Lovely game. I mean, we're just trolling here. Do you have no 
Nice, 200. All those clutches in a 21 Elim win put me up exactly 21%, over halfway through Elite rank. If you didn't already know, the higher in rank you go, the harder it gets to rank up. So a 20 Elim win in Diamond 1 might take me up over 70%, while that same 20 Elim win against even better players in Elite takes me up barely 20%. And by the time you hit Champions, some wins don't even take you up 10%, which makes it really hard and is why nearly a million ranked players are currently stuck in Elite and unable to make it to Champs, where another 380,000 players are stuck. Now you might be starting to see why just 1% of ranked players have hit Unreal. It's hard. But I'm determined to do whatever it takes, so into the next game we go. Back one of them? Yeah, that one's super low. Oh, we're getting shot at from the wall. Yeah, bro, just run at me, bro. You're real smart. Dude, oh my god. I, one's dead, one's dead, one's dead. I wouldn't be mad. Why does he have so Yeah, bro. Like this time we finished in fourth place with only 13 elims, but it still gave me exactly 20% progression. If you can't tell by now, the rank system is a little confusing. I mean, a 21 elim win gave me only 1% more progression than a 13 elim fourth place. I can only assume this is because we fought higher ranked players, but honestly, I don't know. No one truly knows everything that affects your rank, and that makes it even harder. But there's no time to worry about that right now because we need just one or two two more good elite games to put me into champion rank, which is the final step before Unreal. And we died. Thankfully, it was in eighth place with 15 Elim, so I still ranked up a whole 16% and was now just on the brink of escaping elite. Unless I die off spawn or something crazy happens, this should be the game that I make. Behind the door, behind the door. Nice, perfect. Got him. Nice. Break this, break this, break this. Wow, I love New team coming. 116 on the guy up top. Yeah, these guys are. These guys got the. There's like one. I ran out of ammo. It's a murder <laughs> scene. Yeah, I had 10 and you had 14. That's it, we're in champion. To reach this point was actually pretty easy. It took all of about four hours and some relatively chill gameplay, but this is the turning point. Now in champions rank, the lobbies are no different than the top Unreal lobbies. Because only 1% of ranked players are in Unreal, the lobbies get filled with a mix of mainly champion and Unreal players, which just adds to the difficulty. To add to that, wins now count for an average of 10% progression, and if you lose early, like die off spawn, you lose around 3%. That means if you win a game, then die early a few games in a row, that win basically didn't count and you lose all of your percentage from it. Or in this case, we had a pretty bad 6 Elim 24th place that put me up 3% just to lose that 3% the very next game by dying off spawn. We got off spawn one more time before deciding to switch up the drop spot for a different look. Got the underground bunker with a ton of guns, got drones everywhere. No way he shot me through my build. Let me know. Do you have a mech or anything? No. No! no way, bro. That didn't work, so we tried our original drop spot for the next game. Not farming for golden rank. Big hitter. Bro, like, what am I playing, bro? Bro, where? where are all these There's work? no way. I should not have had it. <laughs> and that didn't work either, so we tried another drop spot. Oh, uh, cracked. Did not crack him. Oh my god, bro, I got double bomb down low. 
dude, I can't. I bet you could have guessed that, that didn't work either. I was now stuck in what I call ranked purgatory, meaning I just can't move in percentage. If we have a decent game, I go up a few percent. If we have a bad game, I go down a few percent. I just went back and forth, up a few percent, down a few percent. This went on for an hour straight before finally seeing a glimmer of hope when we dropped in on this map. Bro, like, hello? Yeah, he is, he is, he is. He died to fall. No <laughs> way. <laughs> Can two crack? 26 white? 1 HP? Yeah. One of them? I actually can't see him, I'm not even trolling. Dead on one? You got one? Right one turn on up top. I just hit that guy. Oh my god. I... 20. Bro. <laughs> it's crazy. Real talented gameplay out of this guy. <laughs> nice. You can do. Nice. Get his bats. Automatic. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy. Fetching results. 23% to 36%. So a 13% massive clutch win from SR3 finally got us out of our drought. We dropped right back into our same spot and unfortunately lost on this one off spawn to a super unlucky clinger play, sending me back another 3%. But the very next game, we picked it back up and went on a terror. Please shoot. Both one HP. One, one, one. Nice. Oh my God. Oh, the goat. Oh my yeah, bro. god. Especially with that shotgun. Oh, you're real. One shot. Nice. 120. Can you guys can look at you? Did I know? They're just phasing everything like hello. Hey, boss. I'm really weak. Oh my god, I just no scoped on one accident. I don't have a spray. 120 on the guy hanging out the window. I wanna get his medallion. One dead. Nice. Nice. Oh yeah, they'll stop everything. 121 on Mr. Luskin. Oh, one, one shot, one shot on him. Dead. Dead on one. Dead on two. Am I back? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this guy one shot. This guy, this purple blue skin's one shot. Nice. This put me up another 13%, nearing the halfway point through champions. And after dropping yet another game pretty early on, we decided to return back to the OG trio that started this video off on a two win streak. The expectation was to just go on a four win streak at 13% per win that would basically put me in Unreal. But unfortunately, our reality was far from this. This game is so bad. Back up, back up. Come through, come through. Like, hello? How did you get in my box? And Dude, just everyone Our games weren't even going bad. They just weren't going good. All three matches with this trio ended with us fighting three to four teams and winning those fights just to end up getting sniper third party and losing somewhere around the top 10 teams, which in literally every other rank gives you a good 10 to 15% of progression. But in champions, you get nothing. So I was back to being stuck in ranked purgatory until we hit up the number five ranked Unreal player in the world, JP Mafia. His impact was instantly felt because he he plays super smart. Like in this situation, when our entire team went down, he played really slow to get all of our reboot cards and then ran halfway across the map to reboot us where there were no other teams and that led to this game. Oh my god. I did. Oh, 
Uno Moss. Like, JV, I know you understand me now. Uno Moss. Come on. So 7% of progression for that 22 Elim win in Champions rank. By this point, you might see a trend where the more teammates you have, the less percentage you gain. It's unfortunate, but at least I was gaining percent, especially in this near 30 Elim game. Wait, I'm actually crazy. Really weird. Wait, you do, you do or no, Carter? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. do. Carter knows too. Alright, here. Right, here. Watch out, Carter. Yeah, I need to get out. Here, here follow me. Alright, drop down, drop down. Should be a rift or something soon. This is it. 110 wow. on the guy sniping across. Dead on one, I'm getting refreshed. No way, bro. I should go for that. Nice. That win actually gave me 9%, but for some reason, every time we got a win streak going, our team always broke up. So it was back to duos for me at SR3, and our first duos game in a while actually went better than I expected. How many thing? Cool, Tommy. One dead, come on, come on, come on. one dead, one dead. I think Did I hit one? that guy like 40. He went uh, south. Oh my. It obviously didn't go great though, as I died early and SR3 fell short in third place, gaining me 6% of progression. But I bet you can guess what happens in the very next game. Yep, we died early. At this point, I was honestly really bored with the game, and honestly, I was on my phone focusing on a creative map I have coming out soon. I just embraced the carry, and SR3 led us to a third place finish to gain me a few more percent. If you haven't noticed by now, you literally have to win games to actually rank up. Placing any lower than first place gains you such a little percent that when you do inevitably have a bad game, you lose all of your good games percent. Like, it's impossible to rank up at that rate. At this point, I was honestly honestly contemplating giving up. I went into today thinking this would take about 8 hours of playing and now it's been nearly 12 hours and I'm only losing percent as these games go on. Let this be a reminder that if you are grinding to Unreal, you need to play smart and safe, unless you're like 0 ping 360 FPS booga. Because for most of us, we're just not good enough to win every single game and if you play like we were here, you will never reach Unreal. So after our third loss off spawn and dropping nearly 10% again, we finally had had enough and assembled the God Squad. There's SR3, a top 2000 Unreal player. You guys have seen him clutch countless times this video. You know how good he is. There's Kyle1x, a crazy keyboard and mouse competitive player ranked in the top 1300 Unreal. And then we got JV Mafia back, a top 5 Unreal player in the world and one of the smartest ranked players I've ever played with. And then there's me. Last season I was like top 100,000 Unreal real players i mean that's gotta count for something but honestly at this point i don't care if i get carried i just need to hit unreal and i know this team can get me there so off we went into our first game together where i got kicked into the lobby and then they won so off we went into our second game together and i got kicked again luckily i still actually got the percentage from those games but we switched to central servers and finally got to play our first games together Live show. Oh my god, I forgot about You dead, you dead. And I'm gonna do awful things. No. Grapple to the vending machine. Nice. Go vending, go vending. Thanks, Waz. No, yes, sir. Bro, I got sniped. <laughs>
I think the Fortnite gods themselves were making it a goal of theirs to not let me reach Unreal. Like, this was insane. It took four hours to go from Diamond 1 to 22% of Champions rank, and now it's been nearly 10 hours since then, and in 10 hours, I'm up to a total of 20% gain. JV Mafia already left again, but it didn't even matter because even in trios, we were just dying. My PC could have literally exploded at this point, and I wouldn't have cared. This was the most frustrating frustrating experience I've ever had playing Fortnite. Finally, finally some hope had risen when I made this clutch which set us up for a potential win. Dead on one. Dead on two. Really? Bro, he's, come up, he's literally one shot. Just run it. Can I knock one? They're rezzing. Rezzing to your left. Entire team down here. Yeah, make it. So we got the win, but you saw the number back yet again to 58%. Thank God for Kyle's pep talks and crazy clutches because I promised I would have quit if I dropped back below 50% again. But when I saw this, a fourth place 17 Elim finish and it gained me 1%. Oh my, I could have uninstalled the game right there. This goes to show how brutal this champion rank is and just the grit it takes to actually make it through to Unreal. Thankfully, I had the team to do it, and things started to look up this game. Sense coming in. Four yeah. crack. Full box. Too frickin' honored, bro. That is 59 to 72. I finally broke into the 70s, but Kyle had to leave. We know the track record of what happens when I go back to duos. Why did we go back to duos? <sighs> I can't. I, don't know. I can't, bro. I'm fighting for my freaking life every game. I couldn't get out. I it's like I'm trying so hard, bro, and I can't. Just as I was losing my final tiny little speck of hope, Kyle reappeared in the lobby and brought back up. I just knew that this had to be the team to do it. I mean, I'm 15 hours in and I don't have much more in me. So our team readied up, landed lavish layer, and I just watched in awe as I got carried to a literal 40 Elim game. These guys are drones, bro. 116. Alright, bro. 41 Elims in a win gave me 13%, and I finally knew I was going to hit Unreal. It's just a matter of time. So we readied up for our very next game. Pull up on the opposition real quick. Okay, try it. Go, 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 go. Yo! You're a thug. Yo, hello. Yo, you were sexist, bro. That's dead weird, bro. Where's he? Nice, man. My squad had so many kills that game. Let's see, let's see. 28 Elims. Bro, 97%. There's no way. At 97%, we literally just needed like 10 Elims and a top 3 finish to do what had seemed impossible until this point. But this team was on a 2 win streak, dropping massive games. So they were going to cross the finish line in style. Keep your mind. Oh, oh. oh my god, these kids are... <laughs> oh. Okay. Not bad. Wow. Oh my god, you're East Media. <laughs> Bro, I was dropping bombs on something. We're gonna win. Butter has a whole different team on him. It did. Wait, full box? Wait, it's, it's ticking so hard. Oh my god. Nice, nice. We win, bro. that has Jesus. to be the game that dropped it. Wow, that took so much longer than I thought it would. Let's check it just to see 97. To Unreal, number 54,430th in Unreal. And there it is. It took 16 hours of rank play in an absolutely grueling time in Champions rank to reach Unreal, but there it is. If you think I got carried in this one and can't get to Unreal by myself, then subscribe and stay tuned because I'm going solo next time. Thanks for watching.